So today I'm going to show you how to do the in the hoop, just the plain hair bow that I sell, which comes in four different sizes. Um, it goes three, four, five, and six inches. They're super fast to make on my multi-needle. It stitches out in four minutes. Um, and on a single needle, probably just a couple minutes more. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. You want to put a medium weight stabilizer on your hoop, on your five x seven hoop, and all of these will fit on a five x seven hoop. Go ahead and pop that on. And there's actually only two steps. Um, one of them is a placement stitching and the other one is a bean stitch, which stitches your top and bottom together. So the first uh, step here is just to stitch your place, placement stitch out. took my hoop off um, and I probably shouldn't have used a light color but I used light green um, and you can use the exact same color as your your placement stitching and your top stitching that way you don't have to change out your needle color um, but it stitched the bottom of the bow which this is the largest bow um, and then this will be the loops and this will be the piece that goes around so the materials that you're gonna need is a piece of vinyl I'm using marine glitter vinyl and then I use a piece of felt for the back part. Um, so for this one, I do the back first. I take my 505 spray. Um, you could also use like painter's tape. I just prefer the spray. Um, stick down your felt. And I recommend using the lighter uh, weight felt. You can buy the thicker felt from Hobby Lobby or your local craft store. I would use the thinner so your bow isn't so um, hard to pinch together. And once that's stuck on there, I pop it back on my machine and then just lay my vinyl piece on top, making sure it covers all the stitching, and then I run that last stitch. And just making sure before you start that your um, felt here is underneath the machine, underneath the arm, and it's not bunched up, or underneath your hooping area, and then go ahead and run that final stitching. off the hoop and there's usually just a couple of threads here to trim up not very many one on each area um, and then you're just going to cut these pieces around and I like to with this piece first I like to cut straight across that way I can get my points uh, really well but the rest of it you just snip around
Okay, so I have all three of my pieces cut out here. The bottom base of this part of the bow is the length that was measured for the bow. So this is our largest one being six inches. And then this is the looped part of your bow. So this is the part we're gonna work with first. Don't mind my nasty glue gun. I use it a lot. Um, so you're gonna take the back side of the bow and you're gonna take the pointy, pointing ends and point them into the center. And this is gonna make the looped part of your bow. So I just put a dab of hot glue here and then stick it about halfway in the center, pressing down. And same thing on the other side. That's where those points meet. Once you get it um, glued together, I would, or I do, clip the center portion. I usually have paper um, clothespins in here, but I do not right now, so I grabbed a hanger. Um, but clip the center point, that way that glue really dries really nice on there. Actually, these may be a cool thing to do because then you can put a couple of them on there. Um, and then we're gonna wait for that to dry and then we'll move on to our next step. Okay, the second step um, for the table stuff, after you get all of your bows, and um, I've moved down to the five inch bow because I have my six inch bow drying for the next step. Um, once these are good and secure, you're going to take your hot glue and be pretty generous here in the center with your glue. And then you're going to take your bottom piece, line it up as center as you can. Get some hot glue over spill here. Maybe don't be that generous with your glue. And then I have gone back to my hanger and you're gonna clip again. So some of it's a little bit of weight <laughs> for the next step. So um, get that part glued and get it clipped back on. I am loving the hanger idea though, because you can get two of them on a clip here and yeah, it works pretty good. Okay, so that my um, green one I had already, or my six inch bow rather, I had already done and I have got it to this step here. So we're gonna move on to the next step. Alrighty, so the next step I'm going to work on uh, my four inch bow and I have these two pieces secure and now I have my center piece. So you're, um, I like to work with the center because that's the part you're gonna see. You're not necessarily gonna see all of the back. So get it as center as possible and hold down. And then I go ahead and do a strip of glue on one end, folding it over and holding. And the same thing with this side. Up. And these pretty well are the length they need to be to kind of connect together. And you guessed it, it goes back on the clip. So that that part can dry. Okay, and then we'll move on to the last piece, which is attaching uh, whatever hair attachment you wanna do. I just wanted to quickly show you the size reference of our three, four, five, and six inch bow. Um, they're really versatile, they're great. You could um, you know, add some initials down here or even on this side of the bow, um, add some lettering or monogram. You can make them any colors, any color combinations you want if you wanted all three of them. I just made them all the same color with different backing so you could see the size variation. But they're perfect from the littlest uh, baby girl with just a um, you know, alligator clip all the way up to a six inch uh, like cheer bow for an older girl with maybe a barrette clip. So that is the plain um, flat bow. Thanks for watching.